So this is problem five. Problem five reads, approximate the area of the region under f of x equals two divided by x on the interval one to three, including one and three, with a Riemann sum using four subintervals of equal width and letting x sub i star be the left endpoint of the subinterval of x sub i minus one, comma x sub i. Okay, so first of all, we want to find the area, right? So let's look at two divided by x. So let's look at this visually. Okay, two divided by x from one to three. So here's one, and here let's say it's three. And two divided by x is pretty much two times one divided by x, and one divided by x looks like this. Two just means you are compressing it horizontally. So let's see, if you plug in one for x, you'll get two. So here we have one. So here's my starting point. And if you plug in 3 for x, you get 2 thirds. So it's something about here. So we get something that looks like this. Something like that. Okay. So that's what we get. Now, what we want to find is we want to find the area under here. So we want to find all this area. But we want to approximate it, and we want to approximate it using um, left endpoints, okay? So, and we want to use force of intervals, correct? Yes, force of intervals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the midpoint between 3 and 1. The midpoint between 3 and 1 is 2, so roughly about here. And now I want to find the midpoint between 1 and 2. So let's find midpoint 1. So the midpoint between 1 and 2, how do you find that? Well, add up the x's. 2 plus 1 over 2, that's 3 halves. So the midpoint there is 3 halves. And likewise, for m2, it's going to be 5 halves, because the midpoint between 2 and 3 is 5 halves. How do you do that? You get 3 plus 2 over 2, that's 5 halves. So that's our midpoints there. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 subintervals of equal um, length. Or equal width. Okay, so we want to use the left, uh, yeah, left endpoints. So we start here, and we go ahead and draw a rectangle like such, and then we start here, so right there, and we do another le uh, re uh, rectangle. Then we start here, do another rectangle, and we start here, and we do another rectangle. So approximately, that will be the area. Obviously, there will be some error because we have this that's not under it, but it's fine. We're just approximating. Okay, so to find then the area of these four rectangles, we just got to multiply length times width, or width times length, right? So what do we get here then? So we get area then is equal to, okay, this little piece right here is going to be one half. And it's actually going to be one half for all since it's equal width. Okay, so then we have a one half, right? Times now we want to find the this side, but we already know that this side length is two, so we're going to go ahead and multiply that by two. All right, that's fine. So now we have the area of just this rectangle. Okay, now we want to add the area of this rectangle. So plus. Okay, then we already know that this little piece is one half because they're one half for all of them. So that's another one half there. By the way, the area of a rectangle is length times width. That's what I'm doing. So this times this. Now I'm going to do the one half times this one. Okay. To find how much this length is, all I have to do is plug in three halves into the function, and I'll get the y value. Okay. So then f of three halves is what? f of three halves is going to be two divided by three halves. So that's four thirds. Okay, so then we have one half times four thirds. Okay, so that's the area of this rectangle. Now we got to add it to the area of this rectangle. Okay, so what's the area of that rectangle? Well, the width is one half. Okay, and now the length. Same thing. We're going to go ahead and plug in two into the function. So f of two is what? Two over two, one. 
we have 1 half times 1. So now we have the area of this plus this plus this. We're missing this area. Okay, so we're missing this area. Again, that's plus 1 half, because that is the width. And now to find the length, plug in 5 halves into the function. Let's plug in 5 halves. F of 5 halves. That's 2 divided by 5 halves. That's 4 divided by 5. So this is 1 half times 4 divided by 5. Okay. So now we have all that. The area then is, we have 1 half, 1 half, 1 half, 1 half. Common factor. Factor that out. So factor 1 half out. We're left with 2 plus 4 thirds plus 1 plus 4 fifths. Okay, so now I'm going to add the 2 and the 1. So I'm left with 1 half, 3 plus 4 thirds plus 4 fifths. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 1 half again. That's how the answer wants it. So distribute the 1 half, so I get 3 halves. Distribute again, I get, um, if, I distribute two, if I distribute the 1 half, the 4 will cancel with the 2, so I'm left with 2 thirds. So plus 2 thirds. Plus, if I distribute the 1 half again, I'm going to be left with 2 fifths. So that is the area that they want. And they just want it like that in the answers. So the area is 3 halves plus 2 thirds plus 2 fifths. Okay?